guys, welcome to. Well, I don't know what this is called, but <laughs> welcome to the Note 9, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 discussion. I'm Darwin from Tech and this is GB from Tech from PC.com. Yes, yeah, so this is a collaboration project. Yeah. It's a really special collaboration project with Tiffy from PC.com. So you don't need to say my name so many times. <laughs> so I mean, uh, we've highlighted um, a few features on the Galaxy Note 9 in our first video, and today we're gonna be talking about more features. Yes, more yes, features. Even more features. Um, I think we've already, you know, we've already talked about, um, you know, the camera, the fingerprint scanner, the S Pen. Right. Or uh, what else can we find on the I Note think 9? Let's dive deeper. Yeah, yeah let's, let's dig dive. in. <laughs> into the phone somewhere. I think let's talk about what a lot of us may use uh, the Edge apps. Yes, so, I use a lot of it. So what do you use it for? I don't really use it because I find it very, I don't know, it, it's very intrusive for me. I actually use it to quick dial and quick access apps. So apps like uh, Touch and Go e-wallet, uh, my banking apps. Yep. And even quick dial like Darwin's number, my mom's number, so yeah, and stuff like that. That's so the sad, you only have Darwin so, as your friend. Well, <laughs> only friend, well. what to do? Oh, no, okay. well, on the HF, there's a few <laughs> settings on the HF, you can even put your music player there. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, what most people will use it for, in my opinion, would be the quick the quick launch menu and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I use it for all the e payments and whatever apps that I accept, access most, quick contacts. And uh, I think what helps even more is like for me when I'm driving I have Spotify and and you're not Waze. supposed to be using your phone while you're driving Waze. you want to use your phone while you're driving Don't, yeah we're not encouraging you to use your phone while you're driving but usually you, you have maps uh, <laughs> and, Waze, and, Waze yeah. and Spotify, and Spotify and side by side yeah, yeah. And so you can save the pair in your uh, correct apps, yeah you can, you can pair the mix navigating and well Okay. Your music choice a lot better. I mean, okay, fine. I'll try to use it after this, but yeah, yeah. I mean, like personally, I don't really use it. Or I'm a bit old school that way. I prefer finding for the apps, and I'm, you know, yeah. She's old school. Yeah, I'm old school. I'm yeah. older than this too. So. But yeah. speaking of pairing the apps together, right? It launches something called the multimedia mode. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you use that? <sighs> No? Educate me now, please. I, I, I used it actually yesterday when I was uploading videos to YouTube and editing the description because YouTube has this weird thing where once you upload it to get your tags and stuff like that, you have to open a second instance of YouTube. Oh, okay. So, but that's not all the application. Yeah, yeah I mean, of course, it's a very good productiv uh, productivity tool. Yes. I mean, you could probably open your browser and then have your word processor open at the same Correct. time. Correct. I mean, that is a real life scenario if you are working on the go. Exactly. Um, of course. Quite a bit of that. Yeah. So. I mean, when, when we are out covering for covering events especially we need to upload the story we need to upload on instagram and then you know and yeah things like facebook and having your word processing or if you need to refer to a mm -hmm. website and you're writing or your press release press or releases, press yeah. releases. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of times yeah, yeah. emails, emails yeah. and while you're typing a document and things like that it's or if you're feeling lazy youtube and instagram or I youtube mean, and facebook i mean okay Talking about all these apps, right? Do you actually find that the bigger battery helps in um, the longevity of the uh, battery life? Yes and no. It depends okay. on usage. In, in, in my use, at least, it depends on usage. Okay. If you use it that heavily, okay, then what's, your battery. What's heavy to you? What's heavy, you're probably playing games for okay. a few hours, your your screen is always on because you're always texting or you're always writing emails. Yep. You do your word processing there. Yeah, play you're forever music. getting messages, right? That mm. I don't read, but <laughs> but we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll but talk at about that later. <laughs> at the same time, like having a longer battery also means that it lasts you at least the work day. Yeah. Even on heavy use. Yeah. You get not five to eight hours. Not not necessarily. It, no. it really depends, right? Yeah, in in my use case, at least, it's it it's dependent on 
the use case. It's um, how heavy you Okay, use it so I think especially. because you play games, yeah. um, you use a lot of the messaging, uh, social Correct. media apps. Yeah. Like for me personally, I use it for social media, I use for entertainment, I don't really game. Mm -hmm. And it does last me quite a bit, especially if you turn off the always on display yes. and your edge light, lighting. Yeah. yeah. That does consume a lot of battery. Correct. Um, and the thing about battery life on not only the Note 9 but a lot of the new Samsung devices kick it into battery saving mode even at medium levels and you're going to get 3-4 hours more. Yeah, definitely. But for the Note 9, even if you're using the on, always on display, the edge lights and whatnot, if you're not using it as often as I described yep, just now. Yeah, but power user, medium extreme user. Extreme power user, medium user. When you're using it medium at, at a medium usage, yeah. right, as, as an everyday uh, device, it will last you a full work day yep. and slightly more. Oh, sorry. I don't believe we mentioned this, but the Note 9 features a bigger um, capacity in terms of battery, which is uh, 4,000 4, milliamp power. Yeah. Correct. And Compared that 3,000 plus... 3,350. Yeah. yeah. And that's a the, huge uh, jump, you yes. see. Yeah. And it's for people who are... You know, when you're working on the go, you don't want your device to die halfway throughout the yeah. day. That's not fun. No, that's <laughs> not I think one thing that helps with battery life is the fact that you can literally just dump it on a wireless charger and let it charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, don't have to one, actually one bring a uh, power bank, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So um, like... It, oh, you can even get power banks with wireless chargers. But it does get a bit hot though, don't you think? A little yeah. bit. Yeah. But that's quite normal for um, wireless, wireless charging. charging because it's induction, right? Yeah. So. Uh, I, I mean, uh, like truth be told, it's not as bad as certain smartphone devices yes. in the market. Yes. It's not too bad. Um, speaking of uh, bigger, the storage is much bigger, the right? Storage. It starts at 1 to 8 <laughs> and yeah. it ends at 4. 512. It's not, it, it, it doesn't even end at 512. It, it just ends it just it's, one or the other. <laughs> yeah. But the nice thing is, it can um, house a 512 gig uh, micro SD card, which one effectively terabyte. makes you yeah. have, you know, one it, TB of storage. Yeah, if you can find one t terabyte of SD card, which. Will it, will it take though? It, it says that it will it, take. Right? It says okay. that it supports up to one terabyte on SD card, so it's 1.5 terabytes at maximum. What are you going to use it for? You well, that brings us to the PC experience. Okay. Ah, okay. The DeX, Samsung uh, Desktop Experience. I mean, I only know it in theory because I somebody didn't pass me the cable. I will pass it to you later. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Samsung's DeX experience <laughs> essentially makes this a desktop. Yes. So, uh, this DeX experience has been uh, introduced. Well, desktop experience has been introduced where uh, in the Note Eight. Yeah, no, that, they, it was last was, year. Yeah. It was last year, yeah. And you actually have to buy a special dock with that. No, right? well, not necessarily. I mean, it is recommended that you buy a Samsung DeX cable or dock. But if you do just want to connect it to a external, an external display, you can just use a USB-C cable to HDMI. Yeah, it that's will connect on, the, on the Note, Note 9. 9. Yes, right. on the Note also, 9. Also, on the Note 8 and the S9, you have to use the dock, which is quite... I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's three hundred bucks extra for the. Yeah. Dog. Anyway, the underlying theme here: just buy a Note Nine if you're going yes. to use the next. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and buy the cable. The cable yeah. is not cheap. How much? How much is the cable? There are okay. ninety ringgit and above. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So but you don't need a Samsung ringgit. branded cable for yeah. this. Mm -hmm. We yes. didn't buy a Samsung branded cable. Cough, cough, <laughs> cough. cough. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do like the idea of having your PC on the go because, yeah. like I said, being on the go, being working um, out of the office is, you know, is the trend now, mobility, right, yeah. uh, the mobile workforce. Um, so if you can buy like a portable keyboard display or and yeah. a Bluetooth keyboard and a small Bluetooth mouse, yeah, you have a PC You're set, you. really, you're set. You really just have and a And the with nice you. thing about Samsung DeX is that you can use the platform on the external display and you can still use your phone. Correct. So let's say you are doing word processing on your external display but you can, you know, uh, answer messages, yeah. uh, um, doodle, what, what have not. Like. And also like if you like, if you're doing graphics work, the Adobe Draw app actually uses 
the Note 9 as a, a tablet. Oh, it, yeah. oh, okay, that's cool. It works like that. That's cool. It's really cool. Like a proper tablet. Like if you have, you're used to working on Wacom tablets for design, yeah. this works. It does that. Does it, does it have a lag though in terms of like... No. Uh, no? <laughs> it's oh, it's oh, cool, just cool. like that. It's I'll just have to, really, I'll have really to try nice. that later. That's, that sounds very interesting. And we spoke about the... Um, the presentation mode. Yeah. So you can doodle. It works like that as well. You can doodle on the mm -hmm. presentation itself and it will show on the display. Yeah. I think one thing to note about the DEX experience is that when you're in DEX, it does not default to mobile first. Yes. yes. It, That's what it's it's a a PC, a PC experience. PC experience. So your Chrome from your phone yeah. is not a mobile Chrome. It's yes, actually a full desktop yeah. desktop. And Chrome. they have a wide range of apps that you could use on the yes. Dex. That is I think is a, a good selling point. Yes. You yeah. can use Microsoft apps like oh, yeah, yeah. it was a desktop, which yeah. is something that not a lot of people have on their phones right now. Yeah. Of course you have to have Office 365. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well it, it is one of the apps that's available correct. on yeah, the correct, um, correct, correct. on the decks. Um, and you still can use all your mobile apps. So. But I do have to say that um, one of the nice things that ties the S Pen to the DeX experience is the PowerPoint. You can use the S Pen to navigate your PowerPoint. So let's say you have a presentation with a client, you can just load up your PowerPoint presentation and just use the S Pen as a clicker. Just plug and it in. You technically no. don't have to be in DeX to use this. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You, you can, can just, just screen share. Yeah. Yeah. You can use it on your gallery. Yeah, also. but I suppose if you just have the cable, you can just plug it in. Right? It's, it's the easiest way yeah, to yeah. do things. And yeah. it's nicer. It looks yeah, nice. Yeah, it's true, it's true. You can show off. Well, speaking of looking <laughs> nice, ah. uh, let's talk about the display. So, yes, I really bigger. love the display. It's, so, what it's is with bigger. your presentation of figure? But it's, <laughs> it's just bigger by like, like that much. much. <laughs> so it's not um, that much of a difference. Well, okay, so Samsung calls it their biggest infinity display ever. Which should be, I think it's pretty much accurate because yeah. we've not seen this big of a display on any of the other devices. Well, yeah. Infinity display, yeah. this type of display. And um, the nice thing about it is that it makes your... Um, YouTube videos, your HD content looks so, so much, much better, better. Yeah. and um, I'm sure Darwin can you know, attest to this it, for it gaming. For yeah, gaming? Yeah, yeah, for yeah. gaming. So the display is really nice. It's one of the best displays I've ever used, yeah. right? And when you play games, well, this comes with Fortnite. Right, so any well Fort now. Fort now. Fort now. <laughs> Fort <laughs> now. Yeah, so Fortnite for now. So yeah. <laughs> um, and I do have to say the screen is so smooth uh, in terms of like um, touch. Is well, the the touch experience is also well. very smooth. Yeah. yeah. So There's when you're no playing games to it. like Fortnite yeah. or even Asphalt or PUBG and whatnot, it's. Very instant, it's yeah. very smooth. Everything's very And actually, um, well, we mentioned this in our first video that the size is actually quite um, comfortable and quite ergonomic. Yeah. So when you actually use it um, horizontally, it's actually quite comfortable to use. It doesn't feel like you're going to drop the phone while Correct. Like, you're not... Correct, it still feels solid. And I think one thing that we haven't mentioned is how vivid the colours are oh, on yes, the yeah. display. Definitely. And even things like details in the blacks yeah. you can actually see it mm -hmm. yep. compared to other displays well i know you guys don't do benchmarks um i mean tech end is not about the benchmarks but yeah. pc.com we do benchmarks for the phone and i believe that um the results were that for graphics at least it was quite impressive yeah um speaking of benchmarks and gaming right do you realize that it doesn't actually heat up that much yeah. it's it's a more powerful processor more powerful gpu and you're playing pubg and on other phones you're playing it really smoothly but it heats up like yeah. it's a, that, a hot pancake i think let's just compare the S9 and the Note 9. Yeah. The difference is there. And yeah. you're talking about a difference of three months from launch, three to four months launch yeah. time. Yeah. And Pub PUBG or even Fortnite on the S9 makes the phone heat up. Yeah, but on the Note 9, it's just normal temperature. Normal temperature. It's, it, it, it's, it's hot. It heats up. It's, it's hot, warm. But, yeah, it's warm. Yeah. yeah. It look, heats up. Look warm, I would say. Uh, it's not hot to the point where you can use it to relax your muscles. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Alright, okay, um, enough about gaming. I know you guys really love gaming, but um, well, I don't game. <laughs> Wait, before we move on, I think we missed out one thing that's important for them 
entertainment experience. Oh yeah, yeah which yeah. is the the AKG front face yes, facing right. AKG. Speaker. So before that, when you when you buy a Note 9, you already get the AKG earphones, yeah, earphones right? Yeah. That comes with the S9 and yeah. Note 8 mm-hmm. as well. But this is actually AKG tuned and Dolby Atmos mm-hmm. certified. And you can actually um, enable and disable from the settings yeah. as yes. well. The um, yeah, d- but why would you turn it on? Uh, why would you turn it off? Sorry, my no. battery. <laughs> no, why, one thing about this speaker is, when Darwin is playing music on the phone in the office, I can hear it down the hall. That's oh, how loud it is. Lord. It's loud. It's really loud. Well, I mean, it's a good phone to have when you're at parties. Then you don't need um, yes. um, wireless speakers. speakers. Yeah. It's pretty good, and if you're gonna play mobile games, you better them well be really good. Yeah. And the AKG headphones are a big plus. Yeah. But even if you don't use the AKG headphones while well, well, you're watching movies, right? You're watching, let's say, Avatar. Mm. Okay, you're putting mm. it at 1080p and whatnot. The audio experience is. It's very immersive, I yeah. Don't forget, it can go up to 4K on this display. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, this display is a quad HD display. Quad HD yeah. right? display. You can. Put 4K movies there, but you're not gonna get well, 4K. The, well, the thing is, it's the experience that matters. Yeah. And you can play 4K, um, 4K movies, and it will look very, very nice on the display. And the nice thing is, obviously, you have that much storage to put a 4K inside <laughs> yeah, right, right. without having to sacrifice everything else. Yes, correct. Um, okay. I, I mean, we've gone on and on about the storage, we've gone about the decks. Um, are there anything about the Note 9 that you don't actually use? Most of Nox actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nox, Nox is something that, well... But I do like, um, I do like the fact that I have the security option mm-hmm. if I want to. Exactly. And in terms of business applications, it's what you need. Yes. And, um, I don't know whether this is available in Malaysia, but like in the US, you have Knox for business or Samsung Galaxy Note 9 for business. Yep, yeah. And I, I think that's like a wonderful tool. It's to a wonderful have. tool if yeah. you actually need it to, you, uh, to use there. it it's for there. enterprise device, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's there. I, as an enterprise device, like companies can rest assured that their stuff is on half the phone. Yeah. And the other half can be personal yeah. stuff. It's a separate. It's a thing. separate experience. So that's work life balance lah. <laughs> so so off lah. Well, that's, that's really <laughs> up to you. That's up. Macam yes tapi bukan. Yeah. So it's a different <laughs> workspace as well. So yeah. you you actually can work on it and play on the other. And one. but we don't really use yeah, it. Yeah, not I really. And then, um, how about like the dual apps? I know a lot of phones now have that. Um, Capability, the yeah. dual apps, um, and the that's Samsung also Note. because there's the dual SIM thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I mean if you if you need one for your girlfriend and one for your wife. So, a dual <laughs> app is basically two versions of the same app. Yeah. So you can have two WhatsApps. <laughs> yeah, not on the same phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. Uh, Bringing it back, <laughs> you could have one line for your personal number and mm. one line for your work, and you can definitely segregate between your work and your personal life. Yeah, that's Easier. the most general use to it, yeah. right? So, yeah. two, two apps, two, two of the same apps, yeah. because WhatsApp doesn't allow you to. Yeah, sign so two, two accounts. Yeah, I mean two one, different numbers. Yeah, in one so, app. Okay, so I, I think we've covered most, most of yeah. the features. Um, I don't know, as a whole, uh, I'd say I like the Note 9, especially if you are not coming from a Note 8. Maybe yes. coming from a Note 8, you might feel like, okay, it's just a slight upgrade. It's, it's very, very small yeah. margin. Yeah. But if you're coming from, let's say, a Note 5, okay, or... Even a Note 7, that, Note that. FE. A Note oh, FE. We don't mention that. We don't mention Oops. the Note 7. <laughs> A note, <laughs> F- fan edition in Malaysia. Yes, <laughs> you will feel the difference. Yes. There is, a there is an upgrade. Yes. Well, and if this is your first note device, it's a damn it, good device to have. Yes. it's a good investment. Mm-hmm. Our recommendation is you start with the six gig RAM, one to eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because I, I mean, think that makes more sense. Yeah, you can just upgrade the um, well, storage if you want to. If yeah. you do have the extra cash lying around and you're super paranoid about your storage, 
You have your 512 gig. Okay, right there. so you have 4K <laughs> lying about? I'd love to know that. I would well. love to know if I had 4K <laughs> lying around. Well, <laughs> but if not, you know, your 6 gig 128 uh, is it's really more than more yep. than enough. Okay, it's mm-hmm. more powerful than anything else out there. And the new the 512 version is also available in blue now. Yes. But, uh, well, I thought that's on pre-order. I'm not too sure whether they're it releasing a be in general the, release. Uh, It should be in the market by the time mm. we release. By the time this video is released, yeah. so yeah. by the time we're recording, okay. it's still in pre-order. Yeah. So yeah, yeah uh, just to sum it up, there are three colors available: the copper, oh, no. the ocean blue, and the black. midnight black. Yes. And other countries as well, they have a lilac purple, but yeah. it's not coming to we, Asia for now. Yeah, for um, now. It's I, although purple. I do anticipate that maybe like for next year they'll bring out a special edition color like they did for the Note 8. Red, yes. Yeah. Red, maybe red, a, a burgundy Pink. red. Or green. Sky's the limit pink. in terms of colors, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or white. Yeah. No. 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 no, no white. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's that's all from us right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I'm Atifi from PC.com. I'm Jiren. That's oh. Darin. Good yeah. lord. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys later. See ya.